Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage. This is their part number 01-360. This is a plunger assembly. Plunger bar assembly is what it is. Uh, for an A53 function lock, this would be appropriate for a Plymouth knob and a 626 finish. And this is um, a review of the item. Plunger would also be appropriate for the uh, Tulip uh, and Levon design as well. So Plymouth, Tulip, and Levon uh, would be appropriate for other trim designs because, quite frankly, it's just not the right size. So th uh, this is for only the A53 function, the 53 function in the A series. There is a link below this video to the parts drawing. And that will show you on the first page an exploded view of the A53 function and in fact show you all of the uh, replaceable available products to rebuild an A53. Um, in fact, it was Walter Schlage, the founder of Schlage, who invented the cylindrical lock, the design whereby which the cylinder of the lock fits into the trim and operates the lock in that fashion. Um, that's a fun fact about Schlage. He, Walter Schlage, in about 1921, I believe, is when that was patented or in that range. All the other replaceable parts are there. Not incredibly difficult to take apart. Um, it's, uh, and, and I've had to do so uh, countless times uh, because sometimes it's easier. A client comes in with a lock. I need keys for this. Okay, where are the keys? I don't know. If I was here, I wouldn't be here. If I had the keys, I wouldn't be here. Um, so uh, picking the lock open, impressioning a key to open the lock, I, you know, I'm just going to disassemble the lock, take the, um, you know, the, 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 the chassis apart, get to the back side of the tailpiece, and be able to manipulate the lock that way to be able to get the cylinder out. So having that exploded drawing is helpful to know not only what are the other parts that you might need, but in order to see how it's put together if you decide to get incredibly curious with it. Then there are three pages of part numbers, and we're going to be looking at part number 22. Oh, one, nope, that's not right. Part number... Page 12, yeah, part number 22 is what it is. That's the plunger assembly, and that will be the 01-060 is what they're calling Yeah, the 01-060 uh, is what they're calling it. The 360 is going to be the derivative of exactly the trim uh, option that you're dealing with because there are different uh, types available. The rest of the part numbers are also in that. Uh, parts drawing. Then we have the link to the installation instructions. They are included with the product. This is a really old document from Schlage. They must have printed off a mountain of these at one point. Um, you need to be able to remove the interior knob, disassemble the lock. There'll be a couple of cotter pins that you're going to remove. Uh, having nice uh, needle nose type pliers makes that job relatively easy. And then you're going to get into the business of physically um, uh, disassembling the lock and those steps are outlined there. Cotter pins will come out, the chassis uh, cover will come off, the um, plunger assembly will come off and what this item basically does is the portion that basically puts the lock into the passage mode or into the office mode or into the entrance mode. So a 53 can operate three different ways. It can always be left as a passage, always unlocked. If you were to then, that's when you depress and allow the button to come out. If you were to just push the button in, it will operate in an office function, whereby which if you just push the button in, and the very first time that you unlock the lock, it will uh, uh, allow the button to, de to retract, uh, and then it will be back into the passage mode. If you were to go into the entrance mode, you would push and turn and that will keep it in the locked condition and at that point it basically operates like a storeroom lock um, in, the fun in the fact that it's always locked on the outside and you always need the key to come in and you can always exit from the inside but the plunger assembly allows you uh, allows that linkage to the rest of the internal parts of the lock to put it into its different its three different modes of function 
those installation instructions are there. I would have that in front of me. I would review that, and I would also have that parts drawing open if it's the first time you've done it. Um, if you're mechanically inclined, frankly, you could probably just wing it. It's there's not that many parts inside of there, and they really only go back together one way. Um, if you put the lock back together and it doesn't work right, something's probably just upside down. Um, so inspect that. You might even take some pictures of your lock as you're disassembling it so you have something to fall back to. Uh, obviously 626 finish, the uh, color of the button will be available in the different finishes of the locks that you're going to have. It may only be available in satin brass and satin chrome. Let's take a look. 01060. I don't know what they do on an oil rubbed button. 01-060. Okay, that's going to be available in all of the colors. Polished brass, satin bronze, satin chrome, um, oil rubbed bronze, satin, I think I said satin brass already, satin nickel, you can do it in as well. So the finishes to complement your lock. Uh, now finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Schlage products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Schlage, this is their part number 01-060-360 Plymouth 626 finish plunger assembly or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.